My colleagues and I recently tried to figure out whether attraction is predictable. Can you take two people who have never met and predict whether they will like each other? If attraction were predictable, that would save a lot of people a lot of time and energy. Because rather than going on one disappointing first date after another, people could simply fill out some questionnaires, feed them into an algorithm, and find out who they're likely to click with. But relationship science inspires skepticism about whether such an algorithm is possible. Because relationships are more than the sum of their parts. They're dynamic and they're built on shared experiences. The best predictors of relationship outcomes tend to be features of the relationship itself, which of course you can't measure when someone has yet to meet their partner. Paul Eastwick, Eli Finkel, and I tested whether attraction is predictable using speed dating studies. We paired single undergraduate students together for a series of four-minute speed dates. Beforehand, they completed a large package of questionnaires, and we used machine learning to try to see if we could predict who liked who. We found that we could predict people's general tendencies to like others at up to 18% accuracy, so some people are pickier than others. We could also predict people's tendency to be liked, who's hot and who's not, at up to 27% accuracy. But we could not predict people's specific liking for a specific person with any accuracy at all. The models were completely useless. So we can't predict whether you're going to like a specific person before you've actually gone out and met that person, suggesting that science still has a long way to go before we really understand romantic attraction.